Hi, I'm Mel McMorrow, Head of School at Cobb Club in Manchester. I started as a Head of Year, I've been Assistant Head, and now Head of School. So the things I like about Cobb Club in Manchester, the students of course, they are so unique, so special in their own way, the staff, the diversity, the vibrance the building brings, and the passion I feel every day when I walk into the building. Hi, I'm Matt Jones, um, I'm Head of Science here at the Academy, and I've worked here since 2017. The thing I like most about working at Co-op Academy Manchester is that there are no two days that are the same. Our students are so diverse in terms of the student body that we have so that every day we face new challenges but that makes it really exciting in terms of um, what, we, what we have to do throughout the day really. Hiya, so my name is Lizzie Lee, I'm an English teacher and I've just newly been appointed as the Key Stage 4 lead of the department which I'm really excited about. Three words to describe working here, um, the first word is warm and um, there's such a warmth to everyone. The second one is I think that we're really innovative in terms of our um, teaching styles and the kind of approaches that we put into practice. Then the last one, it's a bit of a basic word and as an English teacher I should probably think of a better one but it's probably enjoyable. Um, I love coming to work here, um, I look forward to every day. Um, I'm never really counting down the days until the next half term which I think is quite a stereotype for teachers so yeah it's enjoyable definitely. Hello, I'm Naim Musa, Head of English here at Co-op Academy Manchester. I've worked here since 2015 in many different roles, including Key Stage 3 Lead and Head of Family. I'm now enjoying my time leading the English team. The students here at the Academy are really, really fun. We serve communities which have high levels of deprivation and lots of other challenges but we have students who are really up for the challenge of our curriculum, which is rigorous, and we have students who really enjoy learning and want to be pushed. And so every day working in our classrooms is fun and rewarding. Hi, I'm Raquel Chamel. I'm an MFL teacher. I teach Spanish and French. I'm in my first year, so I'm in ECT. The MFL department is really, really supportive, literally since my first training year, since the moment I stepped foot in the school. Everyone in the department has been so, so supportive. I'm incredibly proud to, uh, to be part of such a fantastic science department. Um, over the past few years, we've seen the department grow to, to an incredibly big department. We've got 11 amazing science labs, um, two fantastic technicians. Um, and so in terms of what we can do within the science department, um, we've Really. Hi, uh, my name is Scott Mills. I'm a teacher of PE. Uh, I've been in the academy for about seven years. I've been a head of family here. I've been a Key Stage 4 lead for PE um, and my current roles now are the Assistant Director of Learning Zone for PE. The advice I'd give new staff joining the academy is to get outside your classroom, watch as many lessons as you can in different teachers, different subjects, different departments and get a real flavour for what the academy as a whole is like. My advice I would give a new member of staff is to just to take it, take it each day as it comes. I think it's really, really important to understand that the kids are different on, on any given day. So it's really, really important to know to come in with a fresh mindset every single day and take on the day as it is. Um, and obviously decide for yourself what type of teacher you want to be and display that in your personality and the kids will love it. So the thing that I think I am most proud of establishing myself so quickly, I think that with the team and working with them and building those relationships, I've been able to establish myself as a trustworthy member of the department and definitely the progression. So going, starting off in September as an English teacher and now being Key Stage 4 lead shows that there's a huge amount of progression at Co-op Academy um, and that the trust is there in staff and they want to be able to elevate you into um, worthy positions. To be able to stand there on results day and get to see them to all open their results was honestly one of the proudest moments of my life, as cheesy as that sounds, and, and to get to see how happy they were and hear about the amazing things that they've gone on and done. Um, the ways of being co-op, we have succeed together. We also are talking about do what matters most. Talk to our students about being themselves under the Be Yourself Always banner. And the final one is about showing you care feel like you are part of a community when you come to work um, and everyone's really invested in how you are and everyone's really kind of on it in terms of asking if you need any help with a specific class or student so I think that that is something that makes me really enjoy working at the Co-op Academy. I think being part of Co-op is about, I think it's family, I think it's really really important and I feel that as well not just in my department but across the school. We learn together, we work together, we go every day together our results have soared, teachers teach amazing lessons and students learn something new every day.